the most important thing about uh, shamanism is the concept of direct revelation. If you say, what is shamanism? I'm going to say direct revelation. Uh, we can take that a little further into the idea that it, uh, the shamanic uh, word, the word shaman, basically comes from Siberia and the Tungus tribe, meaning one who sees in the dark, which infers a knowingness without having to use any of the other senses. So that same thought of knowingness is direct revelation. In other words, you don't need to read a book, you don't need to look it up on the internet, uh, you, you barely even need to ask your grandmother, but she might be the best one to ask, you know, how do I heal this uh, physical or emotional issue? How do I handle this problem? Uh, certainly there are so many tribes, the Shona tribe, I remember a friend of mine showing me the artwork, and they believe that there is uh, a spirit sitting on your shoulder. They, draw, they create sculptures around these spirits that sit on their shoulders and direct them on how to conduct their lives. So I think there are probably, there are many tribes around the world that uh, still follow the concept of direct revelation. And here in the West, I think perhaps it's just a concept we're just getting back around to. I love doing soul retrievals because it shifts people's lives. And it makes, um, it, makes it easy to have long-term change in someone's life. It's easy and gentle. They don't have to relive the experience, uh, if they don't want to, of whatever caused a separation. They get the energy back from the experience and get to use that in their lives and move forward. And that is very exciting. It's like Einstein who said, you know, problems cannot be solved at the same level of consciousness as where they were created. We have to shift to another level. And I think that the upper worlds and the lower worlds that become more conscious for people in the journey and soul retrieval can really help expand to those other levels that the scientists are talking about. They can expand uh, perhaps where the problem is and then obviously more importantly where the solutions are. And so in that sense, we can really help to shift someone's uh, not only behavior but just simply their thinking, which alone can affect so many aspects of who they are, who they feel they are, and where they're going in life. So what exactly is a soul retrieval? It, it, because are we, are we dissociated pieces or are we all one? I believe that we are all whole, perfect, and complete as we are. And soul retrieval helps us remember that.